interesting time in my life where I am, uh, yeah, I am, I'm going through a lot of my literature and trying to study. And uh, I think this 21 days have been a blessing in disguise. To be honest with you, God has been kind. Yeah, almost. So we'll talk about homeopathic remedies. I'm just continuing my series on boric. Uh, please uh, get in touch with my Instagram account where Dr. Yash is uh, following up with my videos and asking questions. There are going to be a lot of questions and quizzes about Boric Materia Medica and the person who wins will, 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 will get some of my books as a gift. So let's come to the remedy for now. I'm talking about sarcolactic acid. So very important remedy. You should know that this remedy I use very often in cases of extreme exhaustion so in cases of fibromyalgia where there's a lot of weakness muscular weakness especially patient says that uh, after the fever after flu you know I, I think in coronavirus post coronavirus in weakness remaining this would be a very important remedy so post influenza with a uh, lot of vomiting etc when fever weakness body ache remains think about this sarcolactic acid tired muscular prostration worse any exertion sore feeling restlessness and very important when arsenic has failed tired feeling when they get up in the morning and interestingly you can read this sarcolactic acid is uh, formed in muscle tissue uh, during stage of uh, exhaustion interesting let's come to the next remedy so remedy not many people know how to use uh, spartium scoparium broom uh, I think it belongs to Apocynaceae family, if I'm not wrong, which is the same remedy of, of um, uh, Revolvia. It's a very important remedy. When do I use it? In malignant hypertension. When cases shows very high hypertension, you know, 180 by 100, something very high. And um, no remedy is helping. And there has been a cardiac pathology in some way. I think about this. Spartium, Scoparium. Think about this remedy. Very important. There can be a renal damage, there can be a breathlessness, but very important remedy. Um, what are the other indications? Let me tell you. Always there is a lot of gas. Typically cases, typically lycopodium patients do very well on spartium, scoparium. A uh, lot of burning in the uh, urinary tract. Heart condition. There has been a history of a lot of uh, tobacco. A lot of uh, distension, a lot of uh, dropsy also would be very important in this remedy. So this is Spartium Scoparium. I will use it in lower potency, 6 frequently. Let's come to the next remedy. Saracenia. Actually, this is the sister of uh, Drosera pitcher plant, carnivorous plant. Uh, not much is known about this remedy. But I'll just tell you what I feel about this remedy. Very important for headaches, bursting headaches like Belladonna. And also has very important skin problems. So a lot of eye symptoms, photophobia, like lack felinum. And a lot of skin symptoms, especially where infectious disease are spreading. You can think about this. Pain, weakness between the shoulders. I think this is the only remedy where it's written. Weakness between the shoulders and a lot of scapula pain. Sleepy during meals also. Okay. Let's go to the next. Uh, Sarsa Parilla. What do you know about Sarsa Parilla? Okay, there are a few very important symptoms. Number one, any eruption during hot weather. So in May time, when there are a lot of eczema, boils, skin problems, think about Sarsa Parilla. Very important renal pathology, renal colic, pain at the conclusion of urine. I think it has a psychosyphilitic miasm. Very, very depressed people. NM Chaudhary has written very well about this remedy. He describes a case where the patient, due to the headaches and pains, used to go in depression. That was the only symptom. Just depression due to headache. And he gave Sarsa Parilla and cured it. Pain from occiput to eyes. Little bit like sanguinaria. And eruption on the upper limb and moist eruption. Crusta lactea beginning on the face. Very important, like calx sulfa. It's an underused remedy, Sarsa Parilla. Also comes close to Antim crude. Afthi salivation. There's a little psychosyphilitic miasm there colic and backache at the same time severe pain in conclusion of urine so urinary tract infection especially in children renal colics would be very important remedy this during that time herpetic eruption genitals also 
a lot of things around the genitals seminal emission bloody seminal emission very important for breast retracted before menses nipples are small menses are latent scanty also important for pcod moist eruption on right groin before menses i think this indication not many people know about lot of problems of the joints um rheumatism pains at night also ulceration around the fingers like tucrium deep rages so deep cracks i remember one case of, of kolkata homeopath uh, he was treating a case of hiv the only symptom was big cracks in the palms only on this he gave sarsaparilla 6 and his hiv improved so very interesting okay let's go to the next uh, emaciated feeling in the neck uh, neck is emaciated dry rough cracks would be very important so very important for eczemas <laughs> aggravated dampness night spring yawning worse before menses complementary to mercury and cypria which is interesting okay let's go to the next sorururus this actually remedy prepared from lizard tail very important for cystitis with strangury painful micturition like cantharis but less burning i think all these animal remedies who are little um like lizard like insects have lot of burning in them let's go to the next serinum i think i made another video on this uh, i've spoken about this in my book materia medica sarco nodo very important for cancer cases very important let's go to the next scorpio um too much to talk about boric hasn't given much but um, I'll talk about this some other time. Scutularia, amazing remedy. Skull cap. What is the main symptom? After any fever, when nervousness, fear remains. It's a very important remedy for fear. Fear remaining, weakness remaining, kind of a hypochondriac, nervous state. Fear something will happen, and inability to fix attention. Typically, imagine someone has coronavirus has come out. and then suddenly develops fear kuch ho jayega something will happen inability to fix their attention after that can't work think about scutularia so what's the indication nervous weakness after influenza read about british homeopathic journals and how they use this remedy nervous fear predominates little bit close to arsenic and opium so whenever there's fear there'll be twitching chorea things like that um also think about butyric acid during that time it's one of the very important remedies for headache eyes feel as if pressed out constantly has to walk aching in the eyeball very important explosive headache of school teachers with lot of urination headache worse night worse noise better at night very important um lot of nausea lot of fullness in the stomach sharp stinging uh, pain twitching sleeplessness also and uh, seminal apprehensions impotency with fear of never getting better very interesting like onosmodium they have a psychical impotency ha huh? yeah interesting remedy i think we are using it very less cypripedium and lycopus complementary interesting we did a lot of remedies today as well so watch my videos study homeopathy go in depth don't go by just what hoo ha is going around use this time and uh, live life enjoy your life uh, what some interesting uh, things that you want to do work on your fitness eat good food love people around you and love the world and just tell yourself you're the best